Yo, what's going on guys? Takedowner here and today's video we're gonna be talking about the top 5 guns in Black Ops 3. So my previous video was about the top 5 things that I did not like about the beta and my previous to previous video was the top 5 things that I liked about the beta and in today's video we're gonna be talking about the five thing, the top 5 guns that I really enjoyed using in the beta. So let's get right into it. So the first gun the first gun, it's an SMG, it's the Razorback SMG. So, uh, you guys might be thinking, why picking an SMG in a gun like Black Ops 3? Well, because this gun has a prop has the properties of an assault rifle as well as an SMG. So, it reminds me of the MTAR X from Call of Duty Ghost. Like, it has the same properties like the assault rifle and the SS SMG, uh, just like this gun has, like, it can... It's ability to kill on long to medium ranges and being pretty devastating at short ranges also. So my first like the first pick will be the Razorback SMG. Second gun will be the Arc 7. So an Arc so the Arc 7 is an assault rifle and this reminds me of the AK12. You know, AK12 uh, we had it on on Ghost, I guess. We didn't have it in Advanced. Yeah, we have it in Advanced Warfare. But in Advanced Warfare, the AK-12 sucks. It's of no use. But the gun in the range of the AK-12 from Ghost. Like, in Ghost, AK-12 was a beast. And just like that, the ARC-7 is also a beast in this game. It's a really great gun. Uh, less, it doesn't have that much recoil. The damage is pretty good. And the rate of fire is also pretty good. So, this gun is for those players... Who would like to rush but not rushing that hard like taking it easy rushing a bit few corners and taking it easy the rest of the game so it has a it's a balanced gun and has pretty good um, you know bal it's a pretty balanced gun third the M887 so the M887 is also an assault rifle um, and yeah before I tell you this I'll tell you uh, like about this gun uh, in my list, most of them are assault. Most of the guns are assault rifles because this game is meant for assault rifles. You might be thinking, "Oh, fast-paced and all," but there are many long-range. I encountered many long-range gunfights rather than short-range gunfights in Black Ops 3. Plus, the assault rifles in this game have the ability. If you play with the technique, correct technique, the assault rifles in the game have the ability to um, get all great kills or devastate people on short range. It depends on your technique. If you're using the gun smartly, you may, it'll be pretty easy for you to get a kill. So now let's get with the M887. So the M887 is a three round burst assault rifle. So it's a burst. Uh, and you guys know that I don't like burst assault rifles that much, but this gun, oh man, it feels like it's automatic, but it's still burst, but it feels like it's automatic. The burst rounds are so fast. And the damage is also good. So one of those pro assault rifles that pro gamers use, like in MLG and all. And it has perfect damage, perfect rate of fire. Everything is perfect about this gun. But still, it's third because it's some ranges and in close quarter combat, you'll get uh, destroyed by the players using uh, different guns. So my fourth gun in my list is the Locust Sniper Rifle. So you guys might be thinking, why putting a sniper rifle in? Because during the beta, I... Um, had some time to play with this locust as well so um the locust was pretty fun like i had uh, a lot of fun quick scoping with this gun and uh, i didn't trick try i quick scoping no scoping is comparatively uh, comparatively a lot easier in this game like you can no scope it's not that easy you can try like it's not that hard either like if you aim it correctly and all you can get the kill using like while no scoping but otherwise the locust sniper is pretty great gun a pretty great sniper rifle so Yep, it's pretty, it's good. It's the best sniper rifle for quick scoping. So all those quick scopers, straight shooters, you guys might have, might have found that already if you haven't played the beta, that Locust is the best sniper out there. Be sure to use it. The fifth, the last gun in my list is the Man of War Assault Rifle. So the Man of War reminds me of the Remington, I guess. The Remington R5 from COD Ghost. So it has similar properties like slow rate of fire, and a high damage ray, like can do some serious damage. So this gun, that gun, like oh whatever. The um, uh, what the manor gun. I'm forgetting everything. The manor assault rifle is a pretty great gun if you're usually like in long. If you're in com encounter long range gunfight, don't go and oh I'm gonna devastate people in short range. You're gonna get killed because 
it does require some bullets to kill so that's why it's blasting my list cause if you're a pretty passive player and you'll play slowly slowly then this gun is perfect for you so that's all about it guys these were the five guns that i really enjoyed during uh, during the beta this may change because this isn't the full game and when the full game comes out i'll make another video of the top five things these three things will be repeated like it'll be on the basis of um campaign zombies and all so a full review of the game and I won't doing the five things that I did not like. I'll do it in my review video and I'll just do the top five guns about it. So that's about it guys. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to smack that like button. If you could get 10 likes, that'll totally be awesome. And that's about it. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And catch you guys in the next video. Peace out guys.